Hi, I'm Ben Chabaltz. And I'm Chandler Gibson. How are you today? I'm good, how are you? I'm fantastic. How was your Halloween? It went pretty good. What about yours? It went really well. What were you for Halloween? Goldilocks. Goldilocks. I was uh, Mickey Mouse. There's lots to do on campus during the month of November. Check out a Madden and Just Dance tournament in the game room on Thursday, November 5th at 11 a.m. Students who are planning to transfer to another college or university after completing a degree at Chattanooga State should plan to attend the transfer fair. On November 10th, there will be a variety of four-year school representatives available to answer questions. For more information, contact Career Services and Counseling at 697-4421. Also, on Thursday, November 12th, there is a voice studio recital. Voice students of Dr. Jennifer Arbogast will present an evening of vocal solos, duets, and chamber music. The Office of Veteran Affairs needs your help. To celebrate Veterans Day this year, the office plans to recognize as many veterans and service members past and present as possible. Veterans or friends and family can submit their names, photos, or stories to this office by Monday, November 2nd. Contact Catherine.Basil at ChattanoogaState.edu. Workforce Development and Veteran Affairs, 423-697-2435. Police are learning disturbing new details about how a Georgia Tech student mysteriously ended up badly injured beside train tracks. Karen Greer has the update on this on their investigation. 24-year-old aerospace engineering student James Hubert mysteriously disappeared after attending a sorority party at the foundry at Puritan Mill Friday, October 16th. <laughs> after a frantic search by friends and family using cell phone tracking technology, Hubert was found two days later and face down in a ditch at DeKalb and Arizona Avenues. His family insisting at the time Hubert was on a martyr train that night. I think he got mugged. He, yeah. He was walking, he left the party and we think that he, he said somebody mugged him. They ripped all his clothes and took his wallet and his watch and his cell phone and left him for dead. Marta and Atlanta police confirm Hubert was not riding Marta that evening. However, CBS 46 Investigates has learned this. The entire incident was captured on surveillance video, now in the hands of police. One source tells us it shows Hubert, whose nickname is reportedly 007, jumping off a bridge like James Bond in the opening scene of Skyfall onto a moving train, believed to be a CSX train. Hubert was found on the CSX side of the tracks, bloody and face down in a ditch. His shoes, we're told, were placed next to his body. CSX officials have not commented on this new information, and Atlanta police aren't saying much either. But do tell us the investigation is ongoing. And we've learned family members reportedly met with police last night to hear about these obviously upsetting new developments. Today, posts suggesting Hubert being beaten and battered by someone with hate quietly have been removed from the Facebook page of Hubert's mother, Diane, and she's not returning calls for comment. Wow, I can't believe that happened. I know, right? You should always be careful. Always. Well, that's it for today at Chat State. Be sure to check us out online and on Wall TV. Have a great day.